So what are your goals for walking the Camino? Do you have an objective? Do you need one? That's what we're going to be talking about this week, coming right up. So if you're planning your first Camino, maybe even a subsequent Camino, maybe you've done lots of them, but what are your goals? What's the purpose? What's the objective of your Camino? Do you have one? Do you actually need one? That's what we're going to be talking about this week. So let's talk about some of the goals that people very often have. And then at the end, I'll talk about the, the goals that I have. Uh, it's a very personal thing, of course. Um, but I think particularly if you're going to be walking your first Camino, it's something to ponder on. You know, the reason why you're walking and, and hope uh, what you hope to get from uh, the whole experience. I should just point out this thing here. <laughs> yes, the cat was scratching at the door trying to get in, so I thought he'd feature on the, uh, on the video. This is Tiger. Tiger, say hello to everybody. You're going out to a, uh, an audience of thousands here, mate. All right. So excuse the cat. He was making a heck of a racket to come in. Um, so what are some of the reasons for walking the Camino? Um, I suppose starting at, at one end of the spectrum, uh, some people like the idea of being able to just go on a cheap holiday and stay in cheap accommodation in albergues and so on, uh, you know, see a bit of the countryside and, and that's fine. Um, lots of sightseeing, you know, most of the uh, Camino routes go through some fairly interesting parts uh, of countryside, be that in France or Spain or Portugal. Um, so let's put that aside. Um, what are some of the other reasons that people tend to walk? Uh, religious reasons, naturally. Uh, it's a Christian pilgrimage route, and prior to that, a pagan pilgrimage route, uh, and has been for, for thousands of years. So, you know, that's probably one of the core reasons that, that people walk a Camino. Certainly, I think, for a lot of the local Spanish people. Um, and if you look at the stats on the um, Camino office website, where people state the reasons for walking a Camino, uh, the majority would be saying it's for religious or spiritual reasons. So that's one, certainly. Uh, even if, I've mentioned this on other videos, even if you're not particularly religious, religious or spiritual, you'll get a sense of that um, on a Camino, particularly one like the Camino Francis with all of the, the churches and wayside crosses and so on. It's really a, a great experience. I think a lot of people also walk a Camino because they just want time out. Um, and, you know, without being intrusive, if you haven't walked a Camino before, you'll find that you'll chat to all kinds of people along the way. Um, and, you know, you start to hear reasons why they're walking and, and, you know, they may have lost a loved one recently, they may be grieving, they may be going through some sort of crisis in their lives, they, they may be, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe they've just retired and, and, and you know, want some time alone, all those sorts of things. Um, so that, that time out and wanting space, I think, is, a, is a, a very common reason for people walking a Camino. Um, what you'll find with a lot of the people that you meet also is that they're searching for something. Um, they might be searching for some sort of religious meaning, uh, meaning to their lives, trying to answer sort of key questions in their lives, those sort of things. Um, I think that's quite a common thread. Are you going to settle down, mate? Don't, don't, don't start pouring at me. Um, so I think that's quite a, a common thread that people are looking for things. So if I come back to, you know, my own objectives in Walker Camino, I would certainly call myself a seeker. Um, I set out on the Camino looking for answers. I had been working for, I don't know, 40 years, virtually non-stop, um, on the treadmill of work and life generally, and I was, suppose I was looking for a sense of purpose, you know, like, is the next 20 years of my life going to be like this, you know, why am I here, those sort of fundamental questions. Um, and I actually set out on my very first Camino seeking answers. What was interesting, and I've mentioned this on a couple of videos, is that um, whilst I was seeking answers, I very quickly realised I didn't know what the question was. <laughs> and uh, after about two weeks, uh, I realised what the question was. Uh, and the question was, what do you want out of life? Uh, and then it took me another week or two to realise um, that all I wanted out of life was happiness. And suddenly everything started to fall into place. 
you know, it, it put work in perspective, it put family in perspective, it just put my life in perspective and, and things changed after that. Um, so I, I was seeking and uh, I was very lucky to, to find what I was seeking uh, and I still go back time and time again. This will be my fourth Camino coming up. Um, just loving that experience of seeking and learning more about all sorts of things along the way, which I'll share hopefully as I'm walking. But there we go, I digress a little bit. Um, coming back to the, the original question, do you have an objective or a purpose for walking a Camino? Some people do, a very clear purpose. Um, some don't, and, and, and that's fine, and, and they kind of just see what happens, and magical things can happen. Uh, maybe let me just pose you that question. If you've walked a Camino, did you have an objective, a purpose? Or if you're planning to walk one, is there a specific objective or purpose? I'd love to see your comments down below. And you're going back outside, mate, because you're a distraction. Okay, bye for now, and see you next week.